Hey guys, today's animation tip is scaling or changing size in 2D space and time. What you need for this tip is an empty composition. Let's get started. First, create a new composition by clicking on Composition in the menu and then New Composition. You want to change the name of the composition to Animating Scaling in 2D Space and Time. Make the composition HD, which is 1920 by 1080. Now make it 10, 10 seconds in length. And that's a good way to get started. Okay, so now we have a composition. The next thing we need is a shape. So I'm going to grab a shape using the rectangle tool right here. And I'm just going to create a square in the center of the screen, more or less in the center of the screen. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that my rectangle is in the center of the screen by using the align tool, first pressing center and then pressing uh, middle. And those two things together will put us in the middle. If you don't see the align tool on your screen, you can go to Window and Align, and that will toggle it on and off. There, I'm going to rename my shape layer. I'm going to rename my shape layer Orange Rectangle, or Square, I suppose. And then I'm going to go to the left here, and I'm going to touch this little triangle, and that's going to twirl it down. And I'm going to see that there's two more sublayers here. There's a Content sublayer and a Transform sublayer. What I'll do now is I'm going to click on the, and I'm going to twirl down the transform sub layer. And what I'll see is that the scale control is one of the things that gets displayed. And this is the one that you'll be working with today. So to the left of scale, what we'll do is we'll click on the stopwatch. Notice what happens is that we have a blue icon, oh, excuse me, a blue diamond shows up here. And then we have a new keyframe here. Now what we'll do is we'll move forward three seconds in time and we will go to our scale and we will we'll use our mouse and we'll move it over to the right and we'll drag it till this gets to be about 200% of the original size. So now it's about twice the size. Next thing we'll do is we'll move it forward to six seconds in time and when we get it at six seconds in time what we'll do is we will um, click on this number and we'll change it to 50 and that shrinks this down in size to 50% of its original size. Now I'm going to move to 8 seconds. You notice that both times that we did this, that the it grew in equal height and width. And that's because this link here is in place, the constrained proportions link. So that way everything grows the same, the height and width grow at the same proportions. We will um, click this so it goes away. And now I'm going to move my mouse up over the Y so my height becomes 300 percent and notice that's happened independently of the width about 300 percent that's close enough and then I'm going to move to 10 two more seconds forward in time to 10 seconds and I'm going to take my width and I'm going to make my width 300 percent in size as well too or close to 300 percent in size play this and see what it looks like so first we grow to 200 percent in size and we shrink down to half of the original size Let's take a minute to uh, summarize. Step one, add an element. This is anything that can be scaled, including shapes, text, images, video. Step two, set a keyframe. So first you set a keyframe to indicate the start time on the scale. Then you set a starting scale using the scale controls. Step three, set a second keyframe. So you set a second keyframe to indicate the next time in the scaling. Then you set a final scale using scale controls. And then step four is you just repeat steps two and three as needed.